we can say whatever we want, and then if it's too yeah. irreverent or um, hot, well, I think we, we, we should allow out to be a little funny. Yeah, a we lot. So this is Marcia to bonus. Hello. Um, with a teddy bear. This is my business partner, <laughs> Amy Christopher, <laughs> who is incredibly camera shy. But so I'm over she on the side. is here, but. Teddy is standing in for her, but she will be answering these questions and Amy, as well. And Amy is off camera? Yes, I'm Amy is off camera. camera. We love actors, and we both realized that what we loved the most about casting was working with actors. And we both worked a long time in network casting and got very frustrated and, uh, and, and wanted to get out of that. So we were trying to figure out what could we do that we could still have the fun part of casting, i.e. working with actors, and not the awful part of casting, i.e. When people would come in to audition for me, um, I would always get a comment from actors like, oh my God, we love coming in for you, and we also love Marsha. You guys are so and nice to versa. us, and you also, you know, it's such a warm room. Thank you so much. And that was my favorite part of casting always. Well, I think it gives them the freedom to feel safe, right? you know, and to do their best work, you know, in a very safe, warm environment because they feel like you're rooting for them. Right. Marcia, what qualifies a room as a warm room? Well, I, I just think it's incumbent upon casting directors to try to make the actor feel as relaxed as possible because I'm a big believer, and I know Amy is too, that actors do their best work when they're relaxed. I was very lucky, and I came up under Ellen Lewis, who came up under Juliette Taylor, who came up under the grand dame of all casting directors, and that is Marion Doherty. And yes. Marion Doherty's entire thing was about making the actor comfortable. So that was something that I learned, you know, when I was in training, that that's what it's about. And Amy is from an acting family. Right, so I always felt that having seen, you know, people in my family come home from auditions, you know, and what the process could do to them. Um, I always, I, I sort of vowed to myself that when I became a casting director that I would make it be as painless as possible for them because I had such a huge amount of respect for them to be able to just walk into a room, right. let alone audition for a bunch of strangers. It takes the most am amazing amount of courage.